Central Connecticut State is here. The Blue Devils joining us on NEC Social Media Day at Barclays Center. Dave Popkin and Joe DeSantis. Uh, last year, Central finished eighth, and the coaches respecting it more, picking them sixth. And Joe, I think they could be even better uh, than that with Tyler Cole joining us here and head coach Danielle Marshall. And uh, coach, how are things going in the preseason for you guys? Uh, things are going well. Um, you know, we, we got the guys back healthy. Uh, Tyler was out earlier in the season with a broken hand. Uh, he, he's been back the last couple weeks. Um, the, the younger guys are stepping up. Um, you know, we're very excited. We do, we, we do have a lot of work to do, but uh, we're excited where we're going. I, I'm intrigued by this team. This is my sleeper team. Yep. I got to watch them practice. Again, I'm only about 40 minutes from hard hit in New Britain, so I got to see them. I think you have good balance. This guy makes everybody better. We talked about on the on the pregame, um, the, the 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 pre-show. What are we calling it? I don't know. Whatever. The thing <laughs> we did when we started the show. <laughs> um, good players make themselves better. Great players make others better. And when you lead the team in points, rebounds, steals, and assists, I think this guy is a terrific player. How did you develop such a a unique quality, a unique quality of of uh, team basketball? Um. Well, it just it's kind of like natural to me, you know, just trying to find everybody and, you know, knowing that I can score. But, you know, seeing my teammates do well and, you know, get the same kind of feeling that I get when I do well, you know, you know, when you're in the playing and, you know, you got people in the stands, you know, cheering you on. I feel like a lot of a lot of kids like that. But, you know, just being a team player, you know, that comes from me just wanting to see my uh, my teammates do well. How much attention? Uh does coach get because of the success he had as a player such a long NBA career uh, a great college player all Big East player yeah. uh, wh when he says something it means more uh, yeah of course um, you know as as uh, as young adults you know we can be stubborn sometimes you know but at the end of the day we 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 listen to coach Marshall and you know we know that he knows more than us so what he's saying he doesn't say it out of him thinking he's better, but it's just more as uh, advice. Offensive and defensive player of the year, 93-94 in the Big East. I did not know that. No, now you do. That's why I'm here, buddy. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm impressed with your team because you got some athletes, you got some scorers. Uh, the Ugly kid, Joe Ugly, he intrigues me. He's very vocal in practice. He's a big guy that can shoot. Is he somebody? I know you're a little closely guarded. You don't like to give away secrets. Is he that guy that's going to come off the bench this year and maybe help your team win games, change the game, if you will? Well, he came off the bench last year, and uh, it was funny because he came in when we recruited him. He, I want to start. I want to start. I want to <laughs> start. I want to start. But I, I went back and I showed him clips of myself. Um, you know, I, we all want to start. But I, I, like I told him when I played. You get your name called, but you don't win games at the first minute. You win them at the end of the game. And, and, and I was glad that when I played, I was in at the end of the game. And, and, and that's what I had to convince him. Um, so he, he, was, he was great coming off the bench, and he was one of our top scorers. He was a game changer, and that's the way he's going to be this year. Um, he, he's going to do so many things. Um, you know, people look at him as a stretch four. But he's gotten in a lot better shape this year. You're going to see him running the floor, um, you know, and he, he's been posting up. Very good rebounder. But the vocal part, as you say, um, that's something he worked on. Um, you know, he, he, he struggled with that at first. But um, he just he wants to win. He wants to win. And, and, and you know, he, he, he told me the other day he saw a, a, a tweet where I can't remember word for word, but what it is is like freshmen want to want to score, you know, um, sophomores want to want to play juniors want to start seniors want to win and he said he even though he's a junior he's at that senior stage um, and, and I think that's the good part with our team this year um, you know Tyler has said it the last couple of times of you know he's not worried about stats this year he just wants to win and, and I think our team is evolving that they know that the wins are more important than stats all right good stuff guys we appreciate it good luck thank, thank you, you.